Yeah, so again, it's Russian gear day, and uh, I had uh, many requests on the ATAX uniform that you guys have seen me be wearing in a few videos. It's from my favorite Russian manufacturer. They're called SSO. In general terms, to begin with, the jacket is made of uh, like semi-heavy fabric. It's not super heavy, it's not super thin, so it's like in the middle. It's uh, made of 67% uh, polyester and 33% viscose. In general term for these uh, fully reversible, by the way, uniforms, they are called the partisan uniforms. So uh, let's start with the hood here. The hood has uh, three attachment points for camouflage material. Whoops. Two on the sides, one in the front. There's a drawstring around the face. There's a drawstring going around the head so we can fit the size pretty well. The drawstring is on the inside, that's because I'm normally wearing this side out. The mesh here on the side is uh, for audio so we can hear better, but it also doubles pretty nicely as uh, ventilation. Yeah, as I said, the uniform here, both trousers and anorak are fully reversible. To show how you reverse it, because it's pretty clever actually. <laughs> they're, they're, they're pretty smart guys, so you can see this pocket here is reversed, right? This pocket is not reversed. So, if I want to reverse this pocket, so use this side here, I of course don't want to have a pocket flapping around on the outside. It's not really nice. So what you do is you just grab the pocket, put it on the inside, and then you have a problem. The button is on the inside. But it's not a big problem because there's a little big button hole here that you just flip the button out, and then you can close your pocket. Another feature is that it has of course buttons on the inside and outside. Buttons are attached to this uh, very heavy uh, nylon ribbon you can say. So uh, I doubt the buttons will go anywhere. And the buttons they can slide a little bit. The jacket here has a drawstring around the waist also. It sits in here because again I use this mostly this side. So you just put the drawstring or the draw cord in these holes and uh, they will of course be on this side. I said he has made for professional soldiers, law enforcement and all sorts of other guys who want to be camouflaged now and then but uh, of course mainly made for military and law enforcement use. The said he has meant to be worn both on top of an existing uniform or uniform you're already wearing or it can be used as a standalone. You can see the cuffs have an elastic band. They are very much like this. These cuffs here uh, these uniforms are not identical or anything, they just have the same feature. It comes with a little loop here for your to attach on your finger here, but uh, I just find them really irritating, so I cut them off. So that is uh, the general features of the jacket. Very, very nice, loose, baggy fit. That's of course made uh, on purpose to break up your signature, your contour. It comes with this... Uh, camouflage net for your face but it also doubles of course as a mosquito net even i have not used it for that yet but you can see put it on and stick it inside the hood and uh, you should be sort of like relatively camouflaged and uh, how effective it is as a mosquito net i don't know it is what it is but it has it because it has to have it <laughs> let's move on to the trousers again we can start from the from the top of the trousers it'll be the most easy thing to do almost all other russian uh, <laughs> army trousers they will come with this uh, for set up for these uh, suspenders here goes around your sole shoulder blades they are pretty awesome because you have a really good mobility in them and it has a really really cool feature that if you have to take a dump out in the wild, <laughs> you just unbutton the, the suspenders and uh, you can pull down your trousers. And uh, that's as far as I will go on that explanation. For the waist here, it has six belt loops. They are sitting in, uh, in the one, three, five, seven, nine, and 11 clock positions, right? They are 60 millimeters wide, so you can wear a pretty heavy belt, like this one, for example. On the sides here, like all other Russian, Military trousers, it has some elastic bands. It was a little bit stretchable in here. It's pretty nice. It has two double buttons on the top here. They also fit on uh, nylon ribbons. They will also slide a little bit. And then it has two more buttons down here. Button holes, they are slanted slightly. This flap here is stitched on the middle so it will not break open. It's just a little nice detail. The trousers here, they are of course also fully reversible. 
your buttons here on the front they will also reverse trousers have no cargo pockets on the side here however they have a rear pockets they have a reinforced seat now they're a little bit dirty but that's because i actually use this uniform so uh, that's how it's supposed to be the seat here is double reinforced knees are reinforced they are figure sewn so there's not like straight trouser legs it's also another little cool feature and then they have this uh, elastic band here so like a heavy duty elastic band so here we have the differences in the, the gradient or the hue on the on the two sides yeah this is uh, of course the original ATAX pattern and this is only the the the, the, the the printed colors shining through but i think it's pretty nice that they have gone through the effort to make this set uh, reversible i mean it gives you adjustment uh, possibilities according to terrain and i'm pretty sure that this uh, side here will actually be very nice for winter because in winter unless you're out on a field or mountainside or something like that you don't really want white white the bad thing about this is that uh, the set here is not really available abroad they don't the company who makes them they don't ship abroad so i cannot give you a link to where you can buy it and so on it's not really cheap either it's like 90 bucks or something like this i hope you found it interesting and i hope you like the video i also hope you will uh, check the links in the description and subscribe and like and share and all that stuff i always appreciate that and uh, until next time get out and train and get it done and see you next time here in russia